Lisa Bloom, legal analyst for AVO.com. Let's go over the timeline. The trial was last seen at 11 p.m. on the evening of April 20th. That was a Friday night at 7 in the morning. The next day, her mom leaves for her nursing job, and she told police she did not check on Isabel before leaving. Then at 8 a.m., Isabel's dad, Sergio, goes into Isabel's room and finds her missing and says the window's open and the screen is missing. Now, Sergio's dad also said that he had been sleeping in the living room watching the game and had fallen asleep in the living room the night before and that sometime in the middle of the night, he gets up and goes back into his marital bedroom. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, as, as we try to figure out what the heck happened to this child? Well, first of all, I'm not going to judge this family. They are crime victims, as far as we know. They sound like a normal family. Parents don't always check on children when they come home or, you know, when they think children are just sleeping in their rooms. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot of people criticizing them, and I think that's terribly unfair. When you hear the pain in their voices on that 911 call, I mean, this could have happened to any of us. And so we hope and pray that Isabel will come home. Uh, but but I, I do have a concern about the redecorating of her room. That's their personal choice, how they want to decorate their house and how they want to handle their grief and what they're going through. But from a criminal justice point of view, blood was found in that room. Police often do come back months, even years later to do additional searches. So I would have preferred that they not move things around and change things in her room for that reason. Well, it is bizarre. Um, it, I, I'm going to go quickly to Robbie Ludwig, psychotherapist. Um, it's bizarre to me, uh, frankly. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. I mean, the first thing that can come up is, n number one, is there a cover-up going on? Why would someone want to change a room that potentially could have some information about a crime? Having said that, you know, it, it's the parents' denial at work, and perhaps they don't want to consider that anything horrible has happened to their little girl. So this is a way of keeping their daughter's dream alive, keeping their own dream alive, that their daughter will return to this room and be thrilled and, and they're holding on to that.